Carl and Brendan here from Games, Brains and Headbang Life, GBHBL.com for sure. And it's reaction time. Checking out No One Cares by Broken Jaw. Track that's been out for a few weeks from the Gloucestershire UK punk metal band Broken Jaw. A little bit familiar with them going into this track when they, what were you smiling for? Did I, did I say Gloucestershire wrong? You very Americanized that you ain't Gloucestershire. <laughs> Because I feel like if I said it fast, I'd have screwed it up and I didn't want to. But yeah, they're from somewhere in India. They're from one of the shires of the UK. Um, the less cool stuff. Um, although it's probably quite country down there, actually. So it's probably, you know, not prettier than London, but not as fun. Anyway, um, yeah, a little bit of knowledge about Broken Jaw beforehand. But I went into this track um, when I reviewed it for the single slam, relatively fresh and absolutely fucking loved it absolutely loved it so much so that i watched about a minute of the video and then stopped i went right i'm going to save this video for uh reaction when we do those and that's what we're here for uh to check out this video because i really 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 enjoyed the fucking song um are you familiar with this band in any way not massively i feel like i recognize the name mm -hmm. uh but i don't think i listened i've ever i don't think i know anything from them at all and i'm also okay. not even 100 percent sure that i recognize the name because i also feel like broken jaw sounds like a name that might sound familiar, even if it's not. I don't know why. Mm. There is that, isn't there? Um, there is that because, of course, uh, Dan once played in a band called Jaw Bones, so there was that as well. Mm. Yeah, the people, yeah, took that oh. from the broken jaw, I would imagine. The, that jaw bone, very, very, very possible. But there we go. Um, so we're not gonna, we're not gonna bore you by nattering on about nothing, really. We're gonna dive straight into the track and do this in three, two, one, go. Oh, I was worried it hadn't started there, but no, it has. No one cares. No one cares. No one cares. No one cares. Got a subtitle no telling me cares. there is ominous no voice shouting. No one cares. It is ominous. No one. No one cares. 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 No one cares.
tyranny and not be afraid to say. Um, for a band, you know, that isn't big in any way, shape or form in the UK, uh, coming from pub, punk subculture, obviously crossed with metal to create uh, a video like this and should say, you know, the director is Adam Leader as well. Um, and director of photography is Loki Films, who are two, you know, big names as well. Um, but for the, uh, everyone to pull out a video of that caliber, that caliber is so impressive. That's a better video than some of the big bands in the world are pulling out. That video is fucking phenomenal uh, in relation to the song as well, like how it works. I don't know about you, just focusing on the video alone. What did, did you think of that video? Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, it is a fantastic video. It's it's one of those things like you know who's uh, trying to weigh it up against videos from other bands and stuff like that. It all depends on the song at the end of the day. Doesn't of course, it? I mean yeah. that video was hugely fucking entertaining, like massively mm. entertaining, um, and and still managed to put its point across. I think a little bit by focusing it in in this one singular kind of workplace where so much kind of happens in it. You know, you got the people coming in, the people that work there. You have got the different characters, and it's a good good kind of like um sort of image of modern culture like captured in a single place yeah. you know uh, so i think it's a very very good choice i found the video immensely entertaining but um and i i, I thought like it must have been like it must have been fucking hard to film like in terms of like laughing fun like yeah you know, how, do you, how do you pour soup over a person's head lick it off and no one accidentally laughs or, or moves yeah. or anything uh it's hugely hugely entertaining it look, looks very very professional uh gets its point across uh, and I couldn't stop watching it uh, mm. or the vocalist whose movements and energy and facial expressions and everything are as important as the video, to be honest with you. It kind of adds like another dimension to it all. Mm. Okay. Well, obviously, when we started this off, uh, I said, uh, look, I thought the song was phenomenal when I heard it in the single slam. I stand by that. I think that is a fantastic track that does... Like when people say punk cross with metal, it tends not to mean a lot, if I'm honest, right? Because it tends to lead one way or the other. You don't really get those punk vibes. You don't really get those elements that make it that little more punky um, and stuff like that. It tends to either just be more of a metal track with, oh, look, we've got a faster, more punk hardcore crossover bit here, that kind of thing. Or it is more punk hardcore, but with heavier riffs and stuff like that. I think this song gets a really, really strong balance of both here, where it has that punk ethos and that aesthetic as much as anything else, while also clearly having these really heavy metal sections as well, whether it just be the instrument instruments, but you've also got the vocals and the difference between how they sound in the verses and the chorus and then other elements. I think it's fantastic. Yeah, I mean, he's got tartan shorts on at the end of the day. Even if, yeah. they, did nothing, if they did nothing else, that's the punk element ticked off. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, you know, I didn't know anything about Broken Jaw getting into it, so um, other than the fact that there was this punk part. Um, so actually, like one of the, my first thoughts early on in it were like, wow, this is a lot heavier than I thought it was going to be. Um, but it is, like, it, it's what you said. It's not, it's not a, I don't know, a hardcore or anything like that. It feels more like a, here's some punk bit of pop punky kind of chorus to a, to a degree that's got like a still got a bit of snarl to it now but you know the higher vocals and the cleanness uh, and also that kind of little pop he does at the end of each line which at first i was sure i wasn't sure if i like it because it kind of goes like uh, you're giving up oh like it does a very very slight pop at the end of each line and it kind of gives it a, 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 a i don't know a more accessible kind of poppy punky feel yeah. 
but then the verses aren't like uh you know here's your hardcore cross crash crossover or anything like that it is like more like a traditional like metal with big riffs and very very strong vocals like really really powerful vocals man like and lots of backing in the, like the right point of it too like different um sort of contrasting tones and everything like that so during the verses i was like this is just a metal track in it and it was only that like you know but i did kind of get into it and you watch it because the, the visual is a, a large part i think of the punk part of it because actually some of the things that are happening in the restaurant and the throwing of things around that kind of like gives you that kind of punk attitude mm. a little bit. obviously the way that he, he he's dressed and the movements and everything like that to me also kind of represent that kind of you know chaotic kind of anarchy okay, yeah. punk vibe you know um but you know I, I I thought it was phenomenal as well. Uh, I you know I wrote it down very very quickly into it as like my, like so I don't forget the name tomorrow. I'm like right, gotta add that one. Oh uh, cool. Video was great. Don't get me wrong, but and I got you know video aside, like I just thought that was a really really strong song. Loved the energy of it. Loved watching the video. Loved watching him. But up, you know trying to drop all the visuals, it's hard to because they're so like cool. <laughs> but if I, if I wasn't looking at the video and I just heard that, I would still love that as a track. Yeah love the meetiness of the verses love the catchy sing-along kind of chorus and love the message as well you know yeah. which is at first no one cares and you're kind of like oh it's all a big oh fuck you we don't care but actually it's not it's the other way around by the end of it and it's actually what we should be doing is not being afraid to stand up and say we do care yeah the problem is that no one cares not it's not a we uh look at us we don't care it's the other way around it's like actually can we all stop not caring and can fucking care for a minute yeah which i, I which mean i also adore so well done yeah, absolutely. It, it is on the nose lyrically at times as well, particularly in the last section, you know, when he's basically literally stating to the screen, we're got, we've got to stand up against inequality and justice, oppression and tyranny and not be afraid to say, I fucking care. But there's nothing wrong with that, particularly when you're going to have it in what is a very accessibly anthemic track. Not only accessible in the sense that you play it at a party full of um, eight-year-old grannies and they're going to love it as much as uh, a 20-year-old would. I don't mean like that. I mean in the sense that Anybody can listen to that and get the message and understand it and find potentially elements they like, be it, oh, I really like that chorus. That chorus is quite catchy. Or if in a heavier side, they're like, God damn, he's really snarling and screaming there. And at the end, listen to those guitars as they start almost going into like a core style. Dun, 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 like It's about to like yeah. properly kick off kind of thing. Those are all the elements that I um, all mixed together that just makes it work so well for me. Yeah, um, I'm glad you like it. Yeah, I like oh, it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think it's great. No one cares by Broken Jaw. What do you reckon? You got any thoughts and you know what to do? Let us know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It is gratefully appreciated. You can find us over at gbhbl.com, our full website, where reviews, news, and so much more goes up daily. We're also on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, threads, at GBHBL. Just search for GBHBL and you will find us out there. We also have merchandise on sale. You can access the shop via the website.